Welcome, Leo. This is going to be your September reading. We're going to see what is showing up, see what messages this person has for you, or message. we're going to pull messages from your person. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. All right, let's see. If you guys are interested in private readings, I am about to open up private readings for you guys just for the month of September. There's only going to be a few slots available. So um, mostly if you want to like kind of, I'm going to post it on my Instagram first. So if you guys want to go on to my community page or is it community page or about me page on YouTube, you'll see my Instagram. It's Tarot Charlie. I am verified. So you'll be able to follow me on my Instagram if you do have one. Um, I will eventually put it on my YouTube, but right now I'm doing everything through Instagram. It is a smaller following. So if you are really want a rating or interested, please go ahead and follow me there as I'll be posting more um, information on there. Okay. All right. What is going on? We have the six of rings, the 10 of rings and the dawn of rings. Ooh, king of wands. Who is this person? Okay. This person's not following through. They are not committing. They seem to be all over the place, Leo. Who is this? They, they don't equal give and take at all. The King of Wands is coming in, and this is a very strong message. Like they're all coming up in reverse. When it comes to, to stability or them being grounded, they're not. They're coming up unstable, not knowing what they want, very flaky energy, inconsistent, indecisive even. And the King of Wands, when it's in the reverse, they're very, uh, like they have a lot of self-doubt. They get overwhelmed very easily, but will will lack confidence, but they will act like they're confident. This could be a very harsh energy too that you could be dealing with or someone very selfish and only cares about themselves. You also could be doing like the extreme side of the King of Wands is belittling and dismissive, dismissive and very jealous of one's success. They also start comparing or trying to belittle your business or your, your life or however. So I hope you're not dealing with that type of person because that, will hurt they, these are very that that's that's the extreme of the king of wands okay if you are dealing with that person let's get you more clarity Jeez, feels like you are here persevering this may be testing your strength maybe testing you because this person seems to be very very reckless with the knight of wands you may be dealing with another fire sign aries leo sagittarius you have taurus virgo capricorn energy i have a lot of wands fire coming in the challenge is you need to make a decision. There's old crap that's still staring within the connection. That's not being let go. Okay. Uh, there's something here where it's like someone's struggling to make the right choice. Maybe a lot of unresolved issues are things. Now, this person is now wanting to show up, wanting to come in in September with like an apology, now desiring you, now wanting you. Jeez Louise. Wanting to talk, but there is some type of breakthrough to hopefully move past this. But when things are so much stuff is said, oh my gosh, it can be held within us. You know, well, you said that, or they can make you feel like you're not enough or however. And I do feel like there may be some third, uh, third party energy here for some of you that's causing a lot of confusion and setbacks. We also have the Queen of Cups, which is just like genuinely loving somebody, but also very emotional, very emotional when it comes to this person. Like they have your heart but like they feel like it, they could crush it, you know? They do, they feel like they can crush it. Let's see why the Nine of Wands is in your energy and the Knight of Wands is in their energy. You're unhappy. This is not a happy time for my Leos. This is becoming very heavy and burdensome. We also have the Knight with this person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like they wanna work on things with you. They look at you as the Empress. They look at you as, I, as you know, a hard worker. They look at you as strong, courageous. So why are they treating you like that? Three of Wands are waiting on you, okay? They're having a whole different perspective. Mixed signals, uncommittal, all of these things is what the challenge is. It's like one minute they're wanting this, the next minute they don't. It's good sometimes, but it's really, really bad. It's like, feels like it's when you guys get in an argument or a fight, it's like, it's, it's like you wanna break up. Like you're just like, it's make it, you know, what is it? Make it or break it. 
These arguments turn very, very toxic, I feel. But this is causing a lot of setbacks. It could be because somebody here is not very balanced. They're not really um, solid on what they want. So it's so wishy-washy. What is the world? Yeah, see, wishy-washy. I want to end this. I don't want to end this. Things you thought you resolved are not being resolved. It's going to come back in the argument. You think that things are like, okay, we talked about it. We're logical, however, but in reality, it's like, well, no, it comes back up again. This person wants to make the effort now from what I'm seeing. This is testing your strength, testing you if you really do want this relationship or not, because it is difficult, but there's so much to like that is diff that needs to be um, resolved and worked through and, and, and committed to. Uncommittal here. Sounds very like good when it when you're trying to resolve things in the past, but somehow an argument or something triggers this connection to where it's make it or break it. This person desires you. They do not like how things are, you guys are fighting. This they're thinking about a past tower moment. This could have been a very, very, very big fight, very big argument. And now they're wishing on a star. They want a fresh start with you. Once again, you are their wish. Leo, you are. Okay, they're choosing you right now, but they're coming up as a page of cups. They're emotionally immature. Like maybe everything is good with this person, like chemistry wise, or when it's good, it's good. But man, when it's bad, it's bad. This person is emotionally immature. That's how they're coming up as this page. It's like, it's hard for it's like flaky energy plans being postponed indecisive not sure blah 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 but it's like they really do desire you they really do want this but it's how they handle things is what keeps everything really heavy there needs there is a breakthrough coming in with this heaviness the ten of wands is saying there's a lot of burden burdens things are heavy there has been so much that you're carrying and you need to cut through all of this crap you know, to get to the other side. You have to drop all of these freaking wands that you're carrying, all this load that's heavy on you. It's like, okay, well, let's cut through all of this crap. Let's, you know, release some sticks here. They're too heavy and let's get through them and, you know, let's be in love, right? Like that's what that seems like with the Ace of Cups. But it's like, let's talk about it. Let's cut through it. Let's be truthful about it. Let's get some clarity. Let's let's do this. Because it seems like you're really unhappy. Things are testing you. It's like, this is the final fucking straw. Excuse me, like, this is the final straw with this person. And even in the near future, it's like, okay, what are we going to do? Well, three of swords looks like the past. There's some past heartbreak, past issues, past things coming in. A lot to sort through and to forgive and heal. There is so much. The Queen of Cups is willing to heal, forgive, to move on from the past, but something keeps getting brought up to where you're needing to defend yourself. That's where things are headed to more of an ending if something does not change. Because the Queen of Cups, like your energy, even though you're a fire sign, you're a Leo, it you have to have emotional like balance too. Your mind needs to be your mind needs to be taken care of. Your heart needs to be taken care of spiritually, mentally, physically, all of it. So when one per, when it's just good chemistry wise with all these wands, but when it comes to stability and and grounding it with this connection, you know, more ground uh, solid um, foundation, it's freaking rocky. I mean, look at this tower. This tower is due from resisting change. The tower is like free. Everything's going up in flames with the tower or went up in flames it caused a big huge imbalance this person wishes and wants you and desires you they want to come in but they're still all over the place that's why it's like you are the one that needs to cut through the freaking bullshit right and you're if you're willing to heal this connection but also it's like you don't want any more of this past stuff to come into your relationship because it's too burdensome and it's about to end. 
but there needs to be change, a transformation of both parties. I feel for you, you're good, you have this personal growth, but now it's like really heavy on you. For this person, they need that personal growth. They need to learn how to talk and communicate and be, st uh, be solid about what they want, not just in the moment, not just say things in the moment, not just do things in the moment. Sorry guys, we're having um, minor earthquakes, we're having some earthquakes here in California. The weather has been so weird and hot, so. Kind of like the tower, very hot, I'm not very hot, very um, like earthquake, you know, within the connection. So you may see the camera shaking just a little bit because we just had um, a good, we had uh, one uh, like 10 minutes ago or before I started your reading, we had a, an earthquake. It's been like 110 over here. Um, and it's just like, feels like a heat wave. You can't even go outside. And now it's gloomy and kind of, it does feel like earthquake weather for sure. But anyways, uh, I just got off topic. You, it's like what you can emotionally handle here. Okay, Leo, this is difficult. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything, but like it's your choice if you wanna work with it. If you're willing to forgive and to break, have these breakthroughs with this person, go for it but this person needs to do the freaking same thing all right they do because this is going to keep going in circles this past is going to keep being brought up the situations are never going to be resolved they're just going to be like let's put it to the side or let's you know let's sweep it under the rug and hopefully it goes away like that's not how it's going to work it's going to come back up again so let's get their dark confessions I'm afraid that your feelings for me are not mutual. This person may have really bad insecurity issues. I feel unworthy of having love in my life. I feel miserable and lost. There may be a lot of childhood wounds from this person. A lot. Maybe this person, you know a lot of things about them. Maybe not, but it feels like this person just, just feels like they don't deserve it. So they sabotage it. But that's not fair on you either though, okay? So there's something here where this person is feeling not, not, not enough. So how they act in these times, it's just like, it comes from a lot of childhood wounds. Uh, but it's up to you if you wanna work it out with this person, okay? You guys might be in separation or a big argument right now that that's why they're thinking about you a lot. I don't react when people mess message you. I'm not available. not available what did they do I couldn't let you get close to me emotionally available I'm telling you they're emotionally immature they're coming up as a page in the reverse they're not even like knight they're not even a knight or a, a page upright this is like they could be like 40 years old 50 and still acting like a page when it comes to their emotions that is so tough, especially when you're willing to work on it with somebody, you know? I want to feel that away again. This is a big problem. It is. It's going to be a huge problem if this person doesn't grow. They need to grow emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally. They need to work through their problems. They, that not enough feeling is going to make you feel like you're not doing enough because of how it's because of them, too. This can stem, like, them being like this can really ruin healthy relationships because they don't they they letting allowing something to keep messing it up. Um, I feel that you are wanting to be that person for them that rises above with them, which I do see you being that way. But at the same time, I do see some of you guys just saying, "No, it's too much." It's too, I've been through this so much, so many times, and can walk away guilt free because you know that you did everything you could. Okay. Let's see where their heart space is for you. Let's see what messages are from the heart. I'm ashamed of how I treated you. They should be. Mm -hmm. I feel lost without you. So this is what I have for you, Leo. This person has a lot of things, as we all do. <laughs> but they are barely at the page. That's gonna take a lot of patience, a lot of love, a lot of sacrifice. But again, 
I feel for you, you just, you just being, needing to be true to yourself. There's a lot of fighting with your emotions here about this person and a lot of things that are triggering to where you're feeling attacked, to where you're feeling like you need to set boundaries and more go towards the end of this because it's just way too much. It's, it's, yeah, it's way too much. So again, the choice is always up to you. Your heart is big. It's beautiful, but you got to be true to yourself and try to find what it is that, how to communicate to get to this person, but they keep hurting you. They keep doing this or making something an excuse all the time. That's where you really have to focus on. If, can you handle that? Like, do you, is it really worth this much pain to do that? Or not even worth that much pain. Like how much pain is it causing you? Is this person even willing to work with you? Because it can't, you cannot just be picking up the pieces. You cannot just be the one that's holding everything emotionally and being the stable one. You're, you're going to break. It's just bound to happen. This person here, you can't control. They have to heal on their own. They have to want to heal on their own. You know what I mean? So I'm going to leave this here. Let me get you, wait, hold on. Let me get you a card. Let's get one from Spirit. What's your advice for um, Leo? It's time, Leo. You're being asked to move forward towards the dream that you've been carrying in your heart. It's time to bring it out into the world. You're ready. It's time. Spirit wants you to focus on your dreams, your career, your goals, what your wants and desires are, okay? It's not selfish. It's selfless. There's things here where Spirit is saying it's time. Remember, distractions can come in too when you're going after dreams. So be careful with that. But I'm going to leave this here. I hope this message did help and bring clarity to you, Leo. And if it did in any way, please like and subscribe. I will see you very soon. God bless.